artículo y los objetivos. Empezamos. Vamos a empezar, vamos a empezar, we're going to start, okay, with uh, uh, a starter activity in Spanish. Y on va a commencer, en français, same starter activity in French, which I'm going to give it to you in about two seconds. Translation, you are a little translators now. Uh, can't do it. Chelsea is doing really well. She tried to make intelligent guesses as well. Make an intelligent guess. Tom, this, the text you've just read is the same, has got the same meaning, okay, as in French and Spanish. It's just in two different languages. So you can start working out the meaning of the soup, okay? Start now. Vamos. Vamos. And now we're going to do something quite clever. Can you all stand up, please? Tell us what is the difference between a translator and an interpreter. A translator will just repeat what someone said in a different language directly. Excellent. So it's a direct translation, okay? Whereas an interpretation is. Is it like when they think more about what it means and they sort of, they, yeah, they don't do it directly, it's a bit more. Yeah, it's the actual precise. kind of opposite, yeah, you interpret, you give an interpretation, you try to say what the actual meaning is without necessarily using the same words. de la population. 15, how do you say 15 in French? Cans, uh, well done. Cans. Cans de la population. Pons. Pons. Pons que le état de les son member de l'Union European. Excellent. Puede ser, sí. J'ai fait du vélo. Which one uh, is that like um is skirt on there or is this different? Mm -hmm. Regarde ici les couleurs au tableau. Mm -hmm. La robe rouge coûte 90 euros. Tu peux ouvrir à deux? Euh, oui, monsieur. Je voudrais euh, un t-shirt 6, euh, s'il vous plaît. Quoi, taille? Taille 6, s'il vous plaît. Equi equi color? Ah, uh, violet, s'il vous plaît. Attendance in instant. Voilà. Euh, un, une chemise? Non, non. Oh. Au revoir.